Are your tomatoes looking sick and really suffering? I might have the solution for you. Stick around right to the end to see how I'm going to make our own brew to be able to feed these tomatoes and get them back to health. <coughs> you ready? I'm ready. Right, now I'm going to sit here quietly. Okay. What do you do if your tomato plants are seriously struggling? And do you know what's causing it? I have noticed over the summer, some of my tomato plants were seriously struggling. And what I've worked out was actually, it was probably because they were planted in some really cheap potting mix that we had. It did take a little bit of sleuthing to try and work out what the problem was. Originally I thought maybe it was because they're getting the water from the washing machine and maybe the salt from the washing powder was messing with them somehow. Or maybe they were too wet. I just wasn't- Mom, I'm me. Yeah, it's you. I just wasn't completely sure what the problem was. Mommy, me. Yeah, it's you. Yeah. Who's that goose? Adela. It's Jada. Mata. Yeah, show them your middle. Good job. Right, now it's my turn. Okay. Are you going to go play? Okay. Good boy, good play. If you've got any tips or tricks on helping suffering looking plants, not just tomatoes, but other things that aren't looking so healthy, stick them in the comments below. I love hearing your suggestions. And I realized that these plants up on the shelf that I was watering separately with fresh rainwater were also having the same problem. And that's when I realized that I had run out of my good potting mix when I was potting up my tomatoes. And I put them into a bag of potting mix, well, there was sort of half a bag left, of a brand that is really cheap. And I have suspected that we've had issues with it before, but I've not been able to prove that it was specifically that problem. But this time around, I know for sure it's definitely that one. And my mother is also having the same problem. These are her tomatoes at the moment, and they're really struggling as well. How do I know they're struggling? Because they're really small, they're desperately trying to put out a couple of fruit. They've mostly lost that, uh, the growth tip that will continue to grow. A lot of them are looking really small and sad, and they're kind of that purpley grey colour, not a nice lush green like they should be. So when I discovered that it wasn't because of my grey water that I was poisoning them somehow, it came down to either there was something wrong with the seeds or there was something wrong with the potting mix they were in. But some of the plants, as you can see, are a perfectly good and healthy and strong and they're from the same seeds so it's not the seeds it's not the water and that kind of just left the potting mix really this melon vine was planted in the same stuff and it's had the same problem look how yellow and dead its leaves are look at its new growth at the top there from being fed up and this is what my peppers look like and this is after two weeks of feeding them Unfortunately for me, my birthday and Christmas are all in the same week and this I noticed then. So they got a little bit neglected on cr the evening of Christmas day. I nipped out there and trimmed off all the dead and dying leaves of the plants that were in the ground. And some of these stems were kind of going yellow like this, like maybe a fungal infection, but it wasn't. It was just trying to save itself. So these were going yellow and then they're falling off. I thought if nothing else, if this is some kind of fungal thing attacking them, then I could at least get those off and get them out of the greenhouse. And then a few days later, I finally had some time and got out there with some manure tea and started feeding them up. Now what I suspect is going on is that the plants are starving and that this cheap potting mix is not composted down enough to actually release the nutrients. And they've got some sort of quick release fertilizer in there that has basically done its thing and then died out. And so this means the plants are left not only starving, but actually as the rest of that potting mix is continue to break down it's actually sucking the nitrogen out of the soil and using it to com compost itself so to fix this i already had some vegetable and tomato liquid fertilizer that i had it's a blood and bone and seaweed combination i diluted that and turns out i was trying to follow the instructions but i didn't realize how big my watering can was so actually i was giving them a double dose but because they were so starved they have reacted to that really well it says to do it once a week and i was doing it once every four days for two weeks and it has made such a difference look how much my plants have grown from being this dead and crippled dying plant to this beautiful lush um thriving plant with lots of growth tips and lots more flowers 
A friend of mine mentioned to me recently her sister does Fertilizer Friday and I was like, what? She'd never heard of it either. So she messaged me and she's like, do you do Fertilizer Friday? And I said, I don't know what Fertilizer Friday is, but having done this liquid fertilizer on these plants, I am going to adopt Fertilizer Friday. And guess what? Today is Friday. So I'm gonna go and fertilize my plants and show you what I'm doing. Now the only thing is I don't like relying on bought products. So I'm gonna put together compost tea that I can continue to water my plants with. What I'm going to do is make a very large barrel of quite diluted tea that I can dilute a little bit more. My plan, I've done it before, is to put just a little bit of chicken manure in the bottom, some crushed up chicken egg shells that I have had soaking in some vinegar for a few days. So this will extract a lot of the calcium from them, some squashed up green weeds. And I went to the beach, the upside to living coastally, as I've grabbed some sea kelp. You can use just normal seaweed as well. I've given it a bit of a hose off to get the sand off, and I'm gonna throw all of these into a very large bin and top them up with some water. It will be very stinky and very gross, but the plants will love it. I have done it before and it works really well. And the thing I really like about the bin being really full is that you can just dip your watering can straight in and it fills it up really quickly. But I do wear rubber gloves when I do it because otherwise your skin ends up stinky. But here we go. I have got this big barrel that I have cut the top off and then I'm just gonna tip in this chicken poop that I've had for a wee while. I'm gonna tip that in there as well. And then to top it off, I will throw in the seaweed a handful of old weeds and uh, some of this is comfrey that is growing all over the garden and fill the whole barrel up with some water. Every day I'm gonna give this a really good stir for the next week or so. And then after that, at least the chicken manure and some of the seaweed will be breaking down enough that the nitrogen in the liquid will be high enough that I can start using it on these hungry plants. This sort of brew only improves with age and we're just gonna keep adding things to it. And then next season, I'll probably tip it out and start a new one. I hope you found that video useful. If you have, hit the like button, consider subscribing to our channel. We try to bring you helpful videos to get you going on your self-sufficient journey. I'll catch you in the next one. Do I look sad? <coughs>